Hi Aquarius, welcome to your reading. If you are new here and don't want to miss the daily tarot readings, you can subscribe now by clicking the red button below this video. This is a general love reading, so it may or may not resonate with all of you. At the end of this video, if you are interested, I will also record an extended to know more specific details on their feelings and intentions for you at this moment. Now let's start with your reading. First, let's shuffle the deck four times. Two more shuffles. Here we have the overall energy. First we will start with what happened in the past and why it all happened. Then at the end of this reading there are possible actions towards you, if any. So what happened in the past? This person had problems with expressing feelings and emotions or they didn't have much connection there. And the connection seemed like it, it was always guarded, not trusting each other completely, not opening up 100% and having trust issues. Now, what is affecting you in your subconscious that you may not be aware of is the fact that you still have confusion about the situation. You still don't know exactly where that connection stands. Yes, you know that it may have been toxic as well. It may have been a powerful deep connection sometimes, but you are still confused. How you view the situation? Eight of Pentacles in the reverse. You think that despite the work that can be done to save the connection, it is very difficult. And it seems like you view them like a person that is not willing to work hard to correct any mistakes or to better the connection. Let's see about the current situation. I think you feel very disconnected now with this person. You know that the love is broken and it is a bit hard to be repaired, but you are finding it a bit difficult to move away or you keep thinking a lot about the past. What you want to avoid is ending that overthinking, overanalyzing those things that happened in the past. It is stressing you a lot sometimes, maybe keeping you sleepless as at night and uh, yes it comes uh, it it does not come easy when you think about that past situation but you are willing to work and invest in that connection if uh, they are willing to work as well so you are ready to cooperate if they are willing to cooperate as well let's see what is happening with them what is their energy they want to to say hi to you here we have it, page of wands. Also, this person does not seem the most mature person in love. A bit very mature, in fact. So, let's see what do we have here. Why the page of wands? Ten of Swords. They know that you are heartbroken, that you feel the pain of the disconnection. They know that despite all that, you still love them. And your love is deep and powerful. And that you want commitment. So, yes, they want to initiate some form of contact. Let's see their possible actions. Seven of Swords. Even though they may want to take action, I don't think they will. They will be keeping avoiding you. And I don't sense this is a very honest person or... They may be a manipulator as well sometimes. But I don't see them being quite honest. Okay, Page of Pentacles, Eight of Pentacles, Six of Wands. Yes, they want to talk to you as a friend, but not right now. 
right now they will keep avoiding you let's see what is the overall energy is the page of pentacles in the reverse yes it is a postponed communication with this person but again it is not a very honest person and i don't know if uh, they really have feelings there they want to initiate contact but queen of cups was the challenge in the position of the challenge when i saw the past so it tells me that their feelings were not as deep but they know that uh, you love them i will continue this reading in the extended for more details such as let's see about how does your person feel now how do they view you what are their intentions what are the mutual energies and what are the energies around each one of you if you want to watch the extended of this video you can find it now in the description box below See you the next reading and bye for now.